Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Charlie and today I'm going to be giving you a full review of the Avalon Bay Food Sealer 300S Vacuum Sealer. Now you want to stay tuned at the very end of the video to find out how you can get a special discount on a future purchase of an Avalon Bay Food Sealer 300S Vacuum Sealer. Now for this review, um, I'm going to show you how to marinate a steak using the sealer. While reviewing the sealer, I'm going to show you all of the instructions on how to use the sealer. Just the basic function of it. And once that's done, I'll give my overall opinion on it. So let's get started with the review. Okay, this is all what you're going to need. We have two thin cut ribeye steaks. And right here we have some fresh rosemary, some fresh garlic, and some salt. Here I have my two ribeye steaks. I already cut up my garlic and we're going to add a small amount of the garlic onto the ribeye steaks. Now this is about four cloves of garlic that I chopped up here and now I'm going to rub it onto the steak. I'm going to flip it over. We're going to add some more garlic on there. We're just going to spread that around the steak. Now we're going to add some fresh rosemary. Now the amount of rosemary I have, I have about two tablespoons of rosemary and I'm just going to sprinkle a small amount of that onto each side of the steak. Now I'm going to sprinkle one eighth teaspoon of salt onto each side of the ribeye steak. And there we have it. Now let's introduce the product. Here is the Avalon Bay Food Sealer 300S Vacuum Sealer. This is a multi-purpose, multi-function machine. It has dimensions of 15.3 inches in length, 7.8 inches in width, 3.9 inches in depth, 110 volts. It has between 10.1 to 13 pounds per square inch of vacuum pressure seals up to 12 inch wide bags it also has a roller cutter in the back and it also has space for a bag roll this also goes great with the avalon bay svs 100 sous vide circulator i've already did a review on this and i'll have the links to this video in the comment section and in the description box this vacuum and food sealer comes with a user manual that will tell you all you need to know about the vacuum sealer. And it also comes with five pre-cut 8 by 11 inch starter bags. Here are some of the key parts to your vacuum sealer. It has a vacuum and seal cancel button. It has a speed button where you can vacuum at a low or high speed. A food button for dry or moist foods. A canister button if you want to vacuum a canister. And it also has an accessory port which allows for vacuum packaging with canisters and other accessories. A pulse vac button for when you want control of the vacuum process when you're handling delicate foods. And a seal only button to create a seal when making bags from a bag roll. And it also works by stopping the vacuum process and only sealing the bag. It also has locks on the left and the right side to open and close the front cover. Now the back portion of this vacuum sealer can be opened and as you can see there is the embedded cutter and I can use this to cut a bag from the bag roller. To cut a bag I'm going to add it into the back portion of my vacuum sealer. Just put it to the size that I want to. I'm going to put the embedded cutter in place. And I'm just going to slide it all the way across. And as you can see it cut 
through right through the bag perfectly and now we have a good size bag for our steaks okay here is our two steaks we've added it into the bags which we cut now we're going to start by plugging in the appliance into the electrical outlet I'm going to lift up the front cover to the vacuum seal and as you can see there's a strip right there you're going to pull that off now you want to make sure that the silicone sealing line and the silicone foam ring are in place before vacuuming now there is a removable tray which is right here where I'm touching and that can be removed for cleaning to seal the bag, place the open end of the bag into the vacuum chamber. Leave at least 2 inches in between the contents and the top of the bag. Close the lid by pressing down onto both sides until you hear two click sounds. Okay, now for the speed, I'm going to select high, but you can select low if you like. Now for the food, I'm going to select, um, since it's a dry rub, I'm just going to select dry and we're just going to press the vacuum seal button to start the vacuuming process wow that was pretty quick and we're finished to release the bag just press the release button on both sides and the front cover will unlock and you can open it from there and there we have it. And this is how it looks when we're done. As you can see, it's nice and vacuumed. All the air is out of there. Now I want you. I want to show you the seal. Uh, the seal at the top. Now you can trim above the seal if you like. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to cook these two steaks using the Avalon Bay SVS100 sous vide circulator. I'm going to have the links to those videos in the comment section and in the description box. Here's my opinion on the Avalon Bay Food Sealer 300S Vacuum Sealer. I think it's a very good product, really easy to use. It vacuumed the bags that I had my steaks in perfectly. I always wanted one of these and this one was the perfect one for me. I definitely will be using this product for all of my foods that I want to store, marinate or freeze. For the overall grade I'm going to give this an A+. Absolutely love it. I highly recommend this product to anyone. If you're interested in buying this product I have the links to the web page in the comment section and in the description box. Lastly if you want the 20% discount use the promo code charlie and you'll be all set hope you all enjoyed the review i want to take the time to thank mr davis and the people at avalon bay for allowing me to review your product so until next time take care and i hope you all have a blessed day bye